on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Who are you? My name is Izuku. You're human. Yeah? Do you need some help? I'm cold. I can... Mm, I can try... <sighs> Hey, hey, mom, what's for breakfast? Uh, mom? Hey, Zuku. Me? Hey, what are you? How? So you do recognize me? Well, those scales look familiar. She said that you helped her when she was younger, so and she's come here after getting stronger to help you out? What do you mean by that? Well, you always said you didn't have a quirk, and us Lamia are particularly strong. Uh, uh, what? Yes, yes, that is how Izuku's life changed. And his uh, life with Alamia began. He was 13, by the way, when this happened, and he's... He's felt good about helping Mia. The only thing is, her being Alamia... He has uh, noticed the snake tail. It's just the fact that Lamia's a real and that's not a quirk she's using. So yes, that's pretty much their life. Izuku has been uh, told about Lamia and he was notably terrified considering their history and customs. Inko was as well. Because if you guys didn't know, um, Lamia are known for seducing men, and if anything, it's worse considering they don't care about consent. They don't care about age. You don't even care if you're married or if people are there watching. They don't. It is no issue for them. They don't even care if they're related to the person. That's how bad it is. So upon Izuku learning that she is not only has Lamia powers and that she's a real Lamia, especially Inko, is to say there are precautions. Izuku wears a chastity belt just to be safe. Though she does uh, let them know like we, she's not into that. She doesn't do anything like that at all. She she's never even participated in such acts. I mean, her mother has, but that was years ago, before she was even born. Izuku and Inko happy to hear this, but also, okay, so, who is your mom? She's the leader of, of our tribe, uh, 
and she was very grateful for you uh, helping me back then. Uh, that does explain why you were gone after... <sighs> Seriously, I was just nine years old that time. Yeah, and I almost killed you. What? Uh, uh, <clears throat> let's not focus on uh, the past like that. Like, no, no, killed you. What did she mean by that? Well, he offered to warm me up, and since it was snowing and everything, the only way to really do that was for me to coil around him. This not only kept him warm, but it also shared his body heat with me, and it was just so comfortable. And you both were... I was nine as well. Oh. Okay. So, wait. If you were gone by the time he actually woke up and we found him... The, wait. How did you... Oh, well, my mom showed up. What? Did she... No, no. She saw how... Frail and... How... Nice... Your son was. And... Decided... Eh, he won not last... Five seconds. Plus... Uh, is there something wrong? Wait, are you saying the only reason I'm just still alive? And... Pure in the matter, in a sense, is because I was so frail and weak. Yeah, my mom decided, uh, yeah, she's not going with a kid because they are way too weak to even be viable mates. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, oh my God, I Mom, do you know what that means? Yes, you could have lost your innocence so easily. Especially considering that you were sleeping. Oh my god, that's terrifying. Wait, but why are you here again? Well, before we went to sleep, he talked about how he was quirkless. And we talked for hours about what quirks are. And him wanting to be a hero and... I don't think he to be able to quirk anytime soon, so I figured uh, I'd leave home and try to help him out. Uh, what do you mean by help me out? Well, Lamias are very strong, resilient creatures, and I can help you. We, I can train with you. Really? I swear, it'll only be it, until you feel like I'm... No, no, it's not that, it's just... <sighs> Are you certain no one else is going to try anything with my boy? Like, where are you going to take him to train or whatnot? Mom, you're okay with it? As long as you are, yes. But deep down, I'm still scared. <sighs> that makes all too much sense, Miss Midoriya. But I swear to you, I will not take advantage of your son like that. He saved me. If anyone else had found me, and at least if a hunter found me, I would have died. What? Yes. There are still those out there who still hunt us, all because of a slight misunderstanding given our history. What, what kind of history are you talking uh, this thing with Hera, Zeus, it, it was this whole thing. 
But if anything, we don't devour children. We do gain a boost in power and strength if we ingest blood, but we don't do that unless it's an emergency. What? So, if you'll have me, her just bowing is... Mom? At the end of the day, it's your choice. I'm... I'll trust her as much as, as long as you do. Okay. So you swear that you won't. I I will not assault you. I swear. Why? Why do I feel like this is a bad idea? Why? Why do I feel this? Why does it feel like I'm going to end up regretting this? <sighs> Fine. When can we start? Well, we can start tomorrow. Right now, it's the fact that you did not expect to see me at all, so... Right. As yes, time goes by and Izuku is training with Mia and she's she's a drill sergeant because of how weak Izuku actually is compared to you know other people with quirks she does teach him some things like slight enhancement magic or something that can at least make it so he's a lot less susceptible to certain things Oh, but the poison resistance was the real killer. Considering how strong she is now compared to how she was as a young one, yeah, she at least gives him a taste of her venom. The effects. Yeah, let's just say he's been throwing up so much after that. So at the very least, he's stronger, faster, got poison resistance, as well as him learning uh, some interesting things about Limea. Considering that, yeah, she wants to be alone whenever she's shedding. But whenever she does get cold, she does uh, find her way to Izuku's room, sadly. <laughs> Inko, <laughs> terrified, especially on one occasion where he accidentally grabbed the tip of her tail. Yeah, let's just say they got some noise complaints <laughs> from neighbors. But thanks to this, Izuku has actually gained a fair amount of confidence up to when he's 14. Everyone's noticed this change in him and it's like, okay, so what, did he decide to be a policeman or anything? Izuku's like, no, I'm going to be still be a hero. Bakugo and the others are still laughing at him, but he's like, try me. Yeah, though yes, Bakugo's explosions are stronger. You, he still needs to sweat. He needs to hit you. That he he can thanks to compared to Alamia. Bakugo's maneuverability is lacking. So yeah, Izuku drops Bakugo. I'm not saying it was easy. He he did get burnt. <sighs> okay. Later. The only real issue is Izuku, yes, he's got stronger and all of that. It's the fact that Mia is very very uh, suggestive. 
She doesn't try to seduce Izuku. She's doing it on instinct by accident. And she is very clingy. She gets very possessive, especially when other girls are talking to him now. But she does weigh them off because, hell, they. Oh, now you want to pay me some attention? No. But he is still dense. He knows, like, okay, so. She's holding herself back, but it's like, huh, I'm, I think I need to keep her away from other guys, but really, she has her sights set on Izuku. So the others, they're fine, they're safe. Izuku is not. Not as much as he would like. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> mm hmm? What the? Why can't I? Oh no. As yes, he turns his head and looks at Mia just holding him. Him trying to move his legs, he can't. He's like, okay, what are you doing? Five more minutes. Oh, uh, me? Me, I wake up, please. I got school. Mm, ten more minutes. You said five. Twenty. Uh, Mom. Yes, Eko comes in with a bucket of cold water. <laughs> yes, she had. To, she's had to do this several times. Just in case. <sighs> Seriously. Uh, I, th this is some bull crap. Uh, you could have tried harder not to splash me. Well, it's your fault. What? So, is. Because just. I'm sorry. If, if, if I was just cold, we get that. But if we change the, if we turn on the heat for as much as you need, we'll be bankrupt. I'll get a job somewhere. No, we can't risk you trying to abduct any guys. I swear I won't. I promise. I'll help. Izuku, you can get a job with me. Come on, please. Mm. Fine. Fine. Just. Where in the hell can we possibly. Yeah, it turns out she's a pretty good swimmer. So they actually get positions as lifeguards. This is actually perfect. Yeah. Him just looking at me. Uh, him trying not to get a nosebleed, but then his, his, her just looking at him, and she's the one who gets a bloody nose. He's just like, what are you looking at? It's like, I am so happy we met all those years ago. You are the best. Mio, why are you looking at me like that? Mia, come on, snap out of it. There are people here. Don't worry, haven't you heard of the standard effects? Oh dear God, no. Pretty much being terrified for it. His chastity. Him reminding her, I have a ice water right here if you try anything. You can't blame me. You're just teasing. That's all you are right now. You're, you're just a tease. You promised you wouldn't assault me. Exactly. I promised I wouldn't. But it's a different matter entirely if you want to do it. 
Aren't you embarrassed in front of all these people? No, not really. I don't care. Yes. The guys can... are having bloody noses from hearing that. The girls are in shock. Hearing that she pretty much has no shame when it comes to the guys being just... The women being like, how scandalous. Oh, I'm going to see how much fun I can have with this one. This is going to be interesting for me.